So, um, what I wanted to accomplish with this video is to kind of give you a guide on how to complete the gold rush, or sorry, gold cup, um, a completely silent stealth and uh, get all the gold. Because I ran into a bunch of issues and there's Still not me. many guides on how to do this stuff yet. Um, I found that the community for this game is pretty small and I'm really enjoying it. So I wanted to kind of create my own tutorial. So you can see here, uh, we're just going to have to push this stuff out of the way and keep trying to um, get all of these switches so that we can proceed through that door frame that has the lasers on it. Uh, here I kind of mess up a little bit. I I uh, ran off without flipping the switch. Um, trying to rush this a little bit because the last video I did find that kind of gave me a hint on what I needed to do it was a really long one and uh, was a bit excessive in my opinion. Um, and it was, really it was just a playthrough as opposed to a guide. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all of these guards here. I think that uh, trying to get them uh, marked as thoroughly as possible is super vital. Uh, there will be a piece later on where you can actually uh, ping all the guards, and I thought ping meant that it would um, attract all the guards to you, but one of my runs I just attempted it anyway, and uh, I was a bit annoyed that it wasn't clear. So. Um, Let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and start disabling some of these guards because uh, it's, frankly, it's it's much easier once you get as many of them disabled as possible. Um, even though the cameras are still up, it's a lot easier to hide and uh, keep kind of moving through each of the guards. Uh, this guy, I guess he was too suspicious or something. I, I don't know why I didn't lower his suspicio-meter. Um, but anyway, so I end up deciding that it's a good idea to get these two into this room. Nobody seems to patrol this room at all, so it does seem to be a safe place to hide them. Um, now it is worth noting that I came in through the basement. That get isn't down, the only loser. path that you can. I know that, uh, coming in through the roof, you can probably go silent as well. Um, but, uh, I had done the basement method. All right, so I'm gonna like mark cameras and everything like camera. that. Um, again, being careful. Now, the character that I'm playing as Runaway, she's got a stealth bonus, so that makes a big difference. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Your methods may have to vary a little bit. Now, something that I've noticed is that there is a guard that sometimes patrols this room, so be careful about leaving somebody alone. Here I'm taking a picture uh, with my phone this will be very helpful once we get up to the security, the, the control room, once we get the um, security card from the depot guard here. So I encourage you to pause, take a picture with your with your cell phone. It'll make referencing it a lot easier. All right, now here, turns out you can't mark guards through the door or the camera. Um, I can't remember, I, get, I think I get impatient here. Oh, here we go. So he's going to move, I'm going to sneak up behind him, um, and I'm following him into this room because he, it is one of the ones that he, like I, I got busted on this mission a bunch of times. Now here's where I fucked up, I didn't see this guy here, and boom. Uh, but I did manage to maintain my stealth, so that is always an option, um, you do get a strike, but eh. you have garnered I'm not worried about a strike. Watch yourselves. Be cool and here's go. panel B. So we're going to take a picture of panel B. I'm going to be a little bit faster this time because I already have my camera open. Um, but uh, but yeah, once again, encourage you to take a picture. Now we're going to move on up uh, to the next floor. Um, I do think that uh, there's no point in bagging that body, but I did it anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. And... Trying to mark that camera. camera. Um, again, I just try to mark everything so that I can keep track of it. It makes it a lot easier when you're navigating, especially when the stealth is somewhat um, sensitive in this in this type of situation. This guy almost saw me. 
and he's a part. Uh, camera. Surveillance now, a part of this is me playing this level over and over and over again, trying to figure out exactly what I need to do to be successful. They have one camera. All right, and now normally the guard has in that control room is sitting in the window, but he's not this time. There's also oftentimes a second guard up here that can patrol, so I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to accidentally get caught that way. Um, you'll learn the guard movements. Um, it, I don't know if you're aware, but there is actually seeds for each um, random generation of the mission. Um, so if you go into the pause menu and options, you can actually see it. Um, but uh, once you've played through it enough, you kind of get to know how they're going to move these guards. And there are certain guards that are just guaranteed to spawn, like these two. Um, and their path seems to be relatively similar. Um, however, this time they deviated slightly, so I took them down right here as opposed to uh, where I normally do. So then I pull them into here, which is actually where I normally take down the one, and then the other one is in the chairs to the left of us here. But uh, Sit back down in this now. case, it was easier. So keep moving out. And we're going to uh, come around this corner. This is where I'm trying to check for that guard, because in the control room, he's usually standing in the windows. In this case, he's actually standing behind a stack, um, like a computer stack. So I couldn't. that's why I couldn't spot him, um, but that's OK. It's coming around this corner. There's a gap right here that you can peek through. Um, now, unfortunately, right. this guy came around the corner and caught me off guard, but it was pretty easy and nonetheless. Tap him. Tap the other guy. Quickly zip tied him because the camera had lost focus okay, on me. Minutes. Zip tied him. And now I'm going to move them out of the way because uh, I have had people find them before, but never in this room. So this room is going to become important later as well. Um, but it's uh, this is a great place to stash people. No, uh, back on the floor. Nobody patrols it. And pick up that key card. Step, now we're going to head to the security room. The the control room. To override the security. Sounds like it's going and smoothly. I've cleared Very this floor. Nice. I'm pretty confident of that, so that's why I stood up. Um, again, I'm trying to speed this mission up as much as possible. Um, try to give you guys a clear walkthrough without it being too boring. And here we go. Take down this guy. So this is what I meant by he's behind the computer stack this time. Look for um, and it is important to take the, the guards outside of that room because otherwise they will they can look through the windows and spot that dude. All right now here's where we took those pictures. And you're going to match the symbols up to the events, the, the things you want to trigger. Um, it is randomly generated, or at least somewhat randomly generated, as to what does what. Um, the do re mi thing, I don't know, or do si re or whatever, I don't know what it's actually for. Um, there is a music um, doodle to the left of us, so I'm curious to play with that. But, um, now, specifically, I like to disable the cameras, open the weapon locker and um, ping the guards and shut off the electricity, obviously. It's um, necessary for, for the mission. Um, the ca the weapon cages to the right, I actually don't even explore it this time. Uh, it's just got some cool weapons in it if, if you're into that. As far as I know, though, they don't carry out of the missions, so I just left them alone. Now, I got nervous about this guard down here, um, and I decided it was best just to start working on tying up all the guards again um, now that the cameras are out <clears throat> so I'm gonna move through that pretty quickly here um, again I, I think one of the things that I've had to learn about this game is that you kind of have to take some more risk than might feel comfortable at times but um, it is doable uh, a lot of the time um, the stealth in this game is from my understanding really improved since what it used to be um and i quite enjoy it so uh here we go and i, I guess while i'm doing this i might as well talk about um something else that i figured out about this game that i'm not seeing a guide for anywhere so when you're um looking at buying weapons 
uh, or you have weapons unlocked or whatever, um, lots of times there'll be like letters next to the gun name. And um, it's not really made clear anywhere what that means. So um, an S is suppressor. A um, G is a weapon grip. An E is an extended mag. Sit back down now. An MB is a muzzle brake. Um, there's uh, H is holographic sight. R is red dot sight. And I'm not sure if there's any more. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, those those letters do correspond to something and can help you quickly sort through your weapons. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, though if you're this far into the game, you might already know this. I don't know. But I, I just didn't see guides for it, so I thought I'd mention it. Here, I'm just patiently waiting for that other guard to start moving. Um, I probably could have taken them all, but uh, this is one of those moments where I didn't think the risk was worth it. Tap this guy, this guy. Quickly zip tie them. And then we're going to go over here, get this guy. Who, even though he cracked his back, did not see me. Hey. And zip tie him. All right, cool. So now what we need to do is look at these wires. So I've discovered this is purple and the other one is green for the turret, but we're not going to disable the turrets. Disabling the turrets will throw the alarm every single time. So you leave the turrets alone. So I've looked at the purple wire. I know this is purple. I come in here, look up here, follow the purple line and switch it. And now you'll see lasers five to eight deactivated. So I've successfully deactivated them. Now I'm gonna move down and check this one really quick, dark green. So I go up into here and I follow the dark green and in and switch it. And you're gonna notice on the left, there's three lights. Uh, total. So there was two left, so, or there was one left rather after flipping that switch. So I know that there's only one more spot that I have to check, which is this cluster right here, and it's white, pretty nice and easy. Gonna run back into that security room, and we're gonna follow the white one, which actually does get converted. So you're gonna see it converts to this beige color, or whatever, into there. Flip the switch. I took a breath here. There. Everything is is uh, deactivated, and we're ready to start the actual heist now. Um, so now, what I do is just toss on these um, Cut into this one here. Uh, saws, get them going, and I'm sure you've seen the shadows, the colorful shadows down in the bottom there. Um, that's Vamp and Tulip just chilling. I just left them in the basement this entire time. Um, and uh, then I remember that there's a maintenance room. So I just assumed from poking around on the map that the maintenance area is gonna be the next thing. It turns out it is. Um, so I just wanted to open the door, Increase get things ready. Way to kill time while I wait for these saws. Double check to make sure I can't place a third. Um, and then we're gonna continue these sawings. Um, this part's gonna be a bit boring. Uh, I just wanted to get the guard out of the way. Um, but I don't want to cut it off here. Get I do want to kind of show you what the rest of the heist looks like in case if you bump into anything. Hopefully this video can be um, a reference guide. So, uh, what we're doing here is just going to wait for these saws to finish. And then the we can open. open up these doors. The its cut. And then I was just double checking to make sure there wasn't pressure plate or some shit. Um, but there's not, thankfully. So I just start filling bags. Now, horse. the way I do it with the AI in this game is I just fill bags and I toss them into piles. And I just kind of get a good pile going. Um, initially, I was taking it all the way to the maintenance room. I was like, this is dumb. It's excessive. Um, so I ended up not continuing that pattern. Um, I think I just did the two, actually. We'll see. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna just gather up the gold. Now, as far as I can tell, you can't actually get all of the gold, even though I did it. Um, I'm not sure. 
Engage. <laughs> One second. Uh oh. My screen just went blank. Um. You go through the maintenance room. It'll get you to the drugs. Oh, but no, that's just because my, my screen just but went it's quiet. Um. All right. So. Just uh, we're gonna. <laughs> this this took me a second, but you just punch it. So you're gonna just keep filling bags here. And you're gonna um, continue uh, with trying to just gather all of this. So yeah, uh, and then this is where I told them to follow me because that's when they'll start picking up the bags. Um, which actually I probably could have called them sooner because uh, by the end they're actually pretty far behind. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna keep doing this, uh, gathering gold bars and tossing bags. So. Uh, I did the one floor. Now I'm gonna go down to the lower floor, and we're gonna toss this saw on. I got this bag. Um, I'm also gonna hopefully help save you some time because I accidentally did stuff that I didn't need to do. So I'll show you that once we get there. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, they're they're off tossing the bags to these trucks now. And I'm still recovering from some kind of virus or something. So I apologize, I just had a cough. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Here's the bag. Like I said, this part's kind of boring. Also, um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his, his in-game name nor his actor name right now, but the um, guy that you're working with... Uh, the guy that kind of took over for King, or trying to take over for King. Um, <clears throat> his lines get very repetitive on this part. Because he's just going to keep telling you to go to the maintenance room, like, every time you set it. Step foot into one of these rooms. I also noticed that a lot of, um... I think Vamp keeps saying that the room is open, or the vault is open, or something like that. Very repetitive. Um, but it's quiet. That would be my biggest complaint about this game. The repetitive voice lines. Um, which, like, are one of my biggest complaints, I guess. The game's far from flawless, but that's that's the one that, like, gets the ti that gets tiring the most, I think. Um, for me, especially since it is a roguelite, so you're, like, intentionally playing it through multiple times, and if you keep hearing the same lines over and over again. Okay, so this is one of the places where you can save time. Don't waste your time with those boxes. I wanted to confirm there was nothing in them. I had never gotten this far in this in this uh, mission. It belongs to me, all right? So, you don't actually have to waste your time with these boxes. And that was kind of an upsies. <laughs> Once you place it, you can't do anything about it. Which is what I was looking at there, because I was like, ah, crap, those are just flint boxes, rocks, aren't they? But um, but thankfully, it doesn't take too, too long. What the fuck you talking about? Um, and yeah, there's more dialogue here. Whatever, I'm going to talk over it. Um, alright, so. Uh, what else can I give as advice for this game? Holy <laughs> wait. Um, uh, one of the things... Um, is if you move quickly enough, like if you do shoot a guard, let's say you shoot a guard, shoot a camera, and shoot another guard, and you hit them all really quickly, um, it'll only count as one strike. So that's that's something else. Like if you've already committed to something, don't be afraid to like, slam another one out there. Um, because yeah, it's kind of it's it's kind of a pain sometimes in some of the missions. So now I place it on here, and I think I go in and check the boxes. Yeah, so this is where I confirm that there's nothing. I tried punching them. Nothing. Ha! Still no alarm. So then I come in here and I grab the gold, of course. And at some point in one of these two rooms, I'm pretty certain is where it, I actually could have stopped. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate because I did actually go ahead and check all. But, uh, I mean, honestly, it's not. I'm not that big of a deal. Um, and so I'm just going to start tossing bags out. And you can see that the two AI are still 
being very helpful picking up the bags. Um, I think they're still working on one of the other bags. Uh, <laughs> one of the other piles, rather. So, um, yeah. And, uh, oh, load the third truck. So yeah, it's like after the third truck gets loaded, <laughs> that could have, like, freaking stopped, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Just gonna fire these up. Get them going faster. It's really nice, like, once you've taken up the guards, <laughs> you have the place to yourself. And this was, like, one of the most intense heists in this game. Um, one of the more rewarding ones in a lot of ways. Uh, monetarily, though, it's kind of garbage. Um, and it also, in my experience, just ended the game, or ended the, the run. Um, and considering this is what the DLC was about, I'm a little disappointed with the build up to this. I don't know if anyone else agrees. Um, it just felt really fast to get to like the big heist. But uh, I don't know. I'm not really unhappy. I I, I got it on sale, so ten bucks. It's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just, uh, it's just kind of less money than you'd expect, but whatever. Um, yeah. M mostly just because, like, <laughs> looking at all this gold, how much gold am I pulling out? Can't, can't make millions off this. I guess we are talking 90s money, though, so... Billionaires weren't even a thing yet. I don't think. I, I think the first billionaire was sometime in like the early 2000s. But yeah, so we're just going along, gathering the rest of this gold, and now I'm gonna go up to the next floor. I'm just hoping that nobody cares. Here's where I could have just escaped. Oops. Hey, right. save yourself time. Don't put it on here. It looks super cool. Um, apparently, it's a code for uh, an event that's already passed. So. Kind of sucks, but whatever. So we'll put the drill on here, or the uh, saw on here. I end up, I ended up cutting this open, and that's that's why how I confirmed. I was actually kind of worried that I might set off an alarm approaching that briefcase. You know, if you want to see it, feel free to open it. It's not a big deal. These two are boxes, so I knew that I didn't need to worry about it. I double checked, to make sure there was nothing hiding in behind. Um, but yeah. I thought I saw somebody above me. Um, I'm pretty certain it was just one of the turrets. Um, but it freaked me out for a second. That's why I was looking around like a crazy person. We're actually getting close to the finale of this heist. Um, and then I'm going to overheat the buzzsaw right away because I hate doing that thing, to be honest. Oh, yeah, and then these two, like, they start walking over to me as opposed to going down, picking up the bags. So I was like, what the hell, dude? But then he took off, so. Um, yeah. Max on the call about my we gun. Need the buzzsaw more quickly. Overheated. The buzzsaw has completed its task. Be aware, oh, yeah. the buzzsaw has overheated. I'm just gonna restart the saw, get it going again. And... The buzzsaw is up. done. And so I decided the to get the gold first, because I was like, well, if we have to make a break for it, make a break for it. Um, and then I just tossed it over to this. That was why I set up that zip line earlier. Uh, you can set up another one to downstairs, which I actually do discover before I leave this place. Um, downstairs on this side, and I don't know if you can toss the bags up it or not. I didn't really... I don't know. I didn't end up messing with it. I probably should have. Um, I kind of feel foolish for not noticing it before that, but whatever. And toss it over, toss it over. So I'm confused, like, this was clearly, this clearly belonged to the king, and like, the police and stuff, like, the whole government seems to have it, like, under lock and key. So I guess the king actually had, like, 
the entire city under his control to a much greater degree than I would have assumed a gangsta could. All right, so here we go. Open. So this is just that code. Disappointing. I think I do a shoulder check. But yeah. Oh well. Run upstairs to double check that I didn't miss any um, cages, even though I I know there's nothing on this level. I just I felt the need to like verify, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Here we go. So I come over here. I start picking up bags and helping out. Um, and I noticed they were still piling them in that spot, so I decided to like. Like you can see them. So I'm like, all right, let's go check this out. So I come up here. And I see a pile of bags in a glowing square. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll get close and just toss them in. Um, and uh, and then I painstakingly do this for a moment or two. Um, I start working on these ones. This is where I discover that I could set that up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if it would help or not, really. Here we go. I think I look at it, and then I'm like, oh, that goes upstairs. I'm like... It's not really super helpful considering the maintenance is like the floor below so whatever um so i just keep running it through i guess uh maybe that zip line is for so that you can like put it all onto that one stairwell and then zip line it all over to the the side where i'm picking them up right now that might be what it's for i'm not sure so then you can just have like one giant pile right here. You it doesn't really matter though. Um, these are the last three bags, so I just like bring them over, toss them at these people. <laughs> the AI is pretty chill about that. Although he's freaking not. It. Um, so yeah, grab that, grab this bag, and uh, now I'm gonna make my escape. Let me go and toss the bags on. the door so you know clean up after yourself or something and uh toss the bag in and Excellent. that's the end of it so uh, i really hope this helps you out um that was really like hard for me to figure out all these little details and uh, i wanted to do it stealth so uh hopefully yeah, you'll get team. something out of this Fuck. thank you so much